This program brought to you in part by the Erica Lewis Endowment Fund. Coming up next on Varsity Quiz, it's Liberty <laughs> taking on Clark. This is Varsity Quiz. Hi and welcome to the 53rd season of Varsity Quiz where the best and the brightest high school students match wits in this unique academic competition. Well, the road to the Silver League title continues as Liberty is facing Clark. Now, Liberty defeated Palo Verde in the quarterfinals to earn their spot here. Let's meet their starters. We have Caleb. Hey, Caleb. Hello. Corrine. Hi, Corrine. Hello. Michaela. Hi. Hi. And Joe. Hi. And the coach for Liberty, David Fisher. For Clark, they are here after their quarterfinal win over Green Valley. Starters for Clark, there's Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey. Angus. Hello. Blue. Hi. And Parth. Hello. And the coach for Clark, Chuck Bean. Students, you ready? Let's play Varsity Quiz. Ogden Nash wrote the following inspired by whose poem? I think that I shall never see a billboard lovely as a tree. Perhaps... Unless the billboards fall, I'll never see a tree at all. Liberty Joe. Shell Silverstein. No? Time, we're looking for Joyce Kilmer. Next, Nikki the cat is a terror in the neighborhood. The local mice hatch a plan to tie her down like Gulliver and clip all of her claws. How many nails in total are standard equipment on a cat? <coughs> Liberty Joe? 20. Incorrect. <coughs> Clark Parth? 24. Incorrect, it's 18. No points, we move on. The Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race takes place in March, begins in Anchorage. Where does it end? Clark, blue? Gnome? Yes, points on the board for Clark. Whose image is set to replace that of Andrew Jackson on the And that'll be Liberty, Michaela? Harriet Tubman? Yes, points on the board for Liberty. While a colony of Germany, this Southern African nation was called Southwest Africa. What's its name as an independent nation? Clark Angus? Namibia? Yes. Next question. What term is a title of respect in some circles for men such as Paul Castellano, Carlo Gambino, Vito Genovese, Frank Costello, Sam Gincana, and John Gotti? It, it's also the name of a baptismal sponsor. Clark Angus? Godfather? Yes. Next is a calculation question. Leon invested $250 four years ago. The investment's interest was compounded monthly, and after 48 months, he has $1,000. What was the annual interest rate of his investment? Repeating, Leon invested $250 four years ago. The investment's interest was compounded monthly after 48 months. We'll go with Clark Parth. The 12th root of two. Pardon me? The 12th root of two. Uh, I don't know if that's a correct answer or not. He said the 12th root of two, and the judges tell me that is incorrect. And time, we're looking for 3.52%. Next question, what was the, or who was the first Whig president to serve a complete term? Clark Blue. Quincy Adams. Incorrect. Time, none have served a complete term. Next question, what kind of modifier is illustrated in these examples? We saw cotton growing from our car window. This bank approves loans to people with good credit of any size. The mayor discussed the high cost of living with several women, and I saw a huge rock taking a walk in the woods. Liberty Caleb? This place? Modifier? Yes, I think we can accept that. Although born in Egypt, Cleopatra was not Egyptian. Instead, she traced her origins to which part of the world? Liberty Michaela? Greece. Incorrect. Clark, blue? Persia. No, we're looking for Macedonia. Uh, next question in Greek myth, what's the river of forgetfulness? Clark, blue. The live? I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. Okay, yes. Although it is spelled differently, what's the surname of the American general and aviation pioneer that sounds just like the surname of the English doctor and veterinarian created by Hugh Lofting? 
Liberty, Michaela. Doolittle. Yes. Next question. Hillsborough, Craigowan Lodge, Sandringham, Balmoral, and Windsor are all residences belonging to whom? Clark, Blue. The British Royal Family? Nope, incorrect. Liberty, Joe. The Queen of England? Judges? Yeah, so she was looking for something more specific, so we're going to count that as incorrect. We were looking for Queen Elizabeth II. We move on now. Students, next is a calculation question. One pipe can fill a swimming pool 1.25 times as fast as a second pipe. When both pipes are used, they fill the pool in five hours. How long would it take to fill that pool if only the slower pipe is used? And I'll repeat. One pipe can fill a swimming pool 1.25 times as fast as a second pipe. When both pipes are used, they fill the pool in five hours. How long would it take to fill that pool if only the slower pipe is used? Clark, Parth? Nine hours. Incorrect. Liberty, Corrine. Eight hours? No, we're looking for 11.25 hours. Next question, which award did Johannes Stark, Niels Bohr, Victor Francis Hess, Erwin Schrodinger, and Marie Curie all win. And that's Clark. Kevin? Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Incorrect. Liberty, Joe? Nobel Prize in Physics. Yes. Next question. Considered one of the most effective labor organizers of her time, name the woman who was born Mary G. Harris, who emigrated from Ireland, taught school, organized mine workers, helped found the International Workers of the World. Well, her name was chosen for a very liberal magazine that began publishing in 1976. Clark Angus. Mother Jones. Yes. The curvature is greatest at the crest of what convex arch-like fold at the Earth's surface? Uh, that's Clark, Kevin. Crest. Incorrect. Uh, we're looking for the anticline. Next question. What's the highest peak in the continental United States? Clark, blue. Mount Whitney. Yes. If you need to remove things like the Adam's apple, brain freeze, a wrenched ankle, or water on the knee. What game are you playing? Clark Parth. Operation. Yes. Which author produced the Underland Chronicles? And that'll be Liberty Joe. Suzanne Collins. Yes. Next is a calculation question. A certain restaurant serves apple pie and cherry pie. On average, 60% of the customers choose apple pie. Now, if the next four customers order pie to the nearest tenth, what's the probability that three of them are going to order the cherry pie? Repeating, a restaurant serves both apple pie and cherry pie. On average, 60% choose apple pie. We'll go with Liberty Joe. 0.216. Incorrect. Uh, if the next four customers order pie to the nearest tenth, what's the probability three of them order the cherry pie? In time or not in time? In time, we'll go with Clark Parth. 0.2. Incorrect. We're looking for 0.1536 or 15.4%. No points. Next question. Despite a mailing address of Las Vegas, Nevada, in reality, the resorts along the strip of Las Vegas Boulevard, Liberty Joe? Paradise. Uh, that is incorrect, and that is an interrupt. I will complete the question for Clark. Most other places south of Sahara, but not in Henderson, are governed by which political body? Clark, blue. North Las Vegas. Incorrect. We're looking for the Clark County Commission. Next question. On February 3rd of this year, which company lost more than a quarter of its total worth? A figure Bloomberg finally set at $251 billion in value. That 26% loss constitutes the single greatest one-day loss in stock market history. Clark, Parth. Tesla? No. Liberty, Michaela? 1928. No, it was Meta, the parent company of Facebook. Next question. Which Jerome Kern Oscar Hammerstein musical was based upon an Edna Ferber novel about Liberty Joe? Showboat. Yes. Combine these two sentences into one using apposition. The boll weevil ate my cotton. The boll weevil is a beetle. Clark, blue. The boll weevil a beetle ate my cotton? Yes. 
A weird way to end our first round, but so it is. And before we move on, we're going to learn a little bit more about our players. We're going to have a tough match going here, but let's take a break and say hello to our players from Liberty. First, we have uh, 10th grader Caleb. Hey, Caleb. Hello. Good to see you again. Says you participate in track and field. Yes. Do you have a specific event? I do long distance and pole vaulting. Wow. How are you doing there? I'm doing pretty good. Awesome. Keep up the good work. Good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Uh, here is 12th grader Corrine. Hi, Corrine. Hello. Good to see you again. It says here you are pretty sure you what you want to major in in college. Do you remember what you wrote down? Uh, I want to go into engineering, mostly aerospace or uh, biomedical. Wonderful. Good luck with that. And good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Corrine. Thank you. Here's 12th grader Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Hi. Good to see you again. It says here you play four musical instruments. What are I, they? I do. I play piano, guitar, flute, and violin. Wow. Probably not all at the same time. <laughs> no. Okay. Good luck with all of that. And Michaela, good luck here in Varsity Quiz. Good to Thank see you. you. Here's 12th grader Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi. You wrote something down about helping a children with a specific sport. What do you do? Yeah, so just like our uh, old captain a couple years ago, Ryan, I am a youth soccer coach, and I used to coach for a child development program called Little Kickers. Um, unfortunately, the place I work just closed, but now I am uh, coaching specifically goalkeepers. for my. I'm helping my old coach with it. That is wonderful. Keep that up, and good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Those are our players for Liberty. Good to see you guys. Now we're going to learn more about our players from Clark. We'll start with 12th grader Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hello. It says here that you have studied a foreign language so much that you know a specific dialect. Yes. What well, is that? not studied, but I was born in the province of, not province, municipality of Chongqing, and I uh, know how to speak both Mandarin and that dialect. Wow. Well, hopefully we'll keep it in English for the rest of us here today. But Kevin, that's amazing. Good luck with that. Good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Thank you, sir. Here's 12th grader Angus. Hi, Angus. Hello. What happens in the drama club at Clark? Uh, well, in Clark's drama club, we, uh, we hang out. We like to perform. Uh, currently, we're working on some monologues that we're going to have a little competition within our circle. And we also help uh, decorate the theater for the upcoming musical. Wonderful. Well, keep up that good work and good luck on Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Angus. Thank you. Here's 12th grader Blue. Blue, you've been with us for a long time, but you wrote down a specific hobby that we didn't, that we talked about a week or so was Wikipedia reading, but you wrote down another thing that you like as a hobby. You remember what that might have been? Not quite. I think you were too tired because it said here your hobby is sleeping. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> not, during, not during the game, though. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good luck on Varsity Only Quiz. And 10th grader Parth is back with us. Hi, Parth. Good uh, to see you again. I know you're our Wikipedia not too, but you also said something about a specific type of game that you like to play. Oh, yeah. I like to play rhythm games. And I don't know what those are. Uh, you click things in tune to music. Oh. I'm pretty bad at them, but still. Okay. It sounds like a TikTok thing or something. No. Okay, well, no. good luck with that, and good luck here at Varsity Quiz. Those are our students from Clark. And our bonus round is coming right up. Now, if you're following along at home, you may have a different score. We've had some discussions between the judges and the coaches, and as we go into round two, the official score, Liberty has 30 points, and Clark has 45. Now for Liberty, there's one new player. We say hello to Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi. Welcome. Good luck to you. Clark is keeping their same players from the first round, so we are ready for the bonus round. Now this round is timed at six minutes, and time starts as I start this question. Opera, an enduring form of music with a very loyal following. Although the 18th century saw composers like Haydn, Beethoven, and Mozart also write operas, the 19th century produced more composers known first for their operas. Well, which venue in the city of Milan hosted the largest number of premier performances during that period? Clark Blue. The Strada? No. We're looking for La Scala. Next question for both teams with no points yet in this round is a calculation question. Students, what's the greatest number of tangent lines that can be drawn for two circles that do not intersect? Repeating, what's the greatest number? We'll go with Clark Parth. Two. Incorrect. That can be drawn. Uh, Liberty Joe. One. Incorrect. The answer, four. Next question for both teams. A sailor who sees a red square flag with a smaller black square in its center just saw which weather indicator? Clark Angus. Hurricane? No. Liberty Joe. 
Typhoon? No, we all we wanted was a storm warning. So we move on. Which president got patent number 6469 for a device to buoy and lift boats over shoals and other river obstructions? Clark Parth? Lincoln. Yes. Bonus questions now for Clark only about inventions. First, in 1896, the U.S. government issued patent number 558393 for, quote, flaked cereals and processed for preparing same to a doctor from Battle Creek, Michigan. What was his last name? Oh. Second, what Delaware-based chemical company received patents for inventing nylon, neoprene, Kevlar, Mylar, Lycra, and Teflon? Ten I seconds. Guess I, DuPont. 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 I would guess DuPont. I would guess DuPont. Okay. Okay. First one's definitely Kellogg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. I'm gonna wait. Captain. For the first answer, Kellogg. For the second, DuPont. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. Now, this question for both teams. Name two of the team sports at the Winter Olympics. That is a sport that does not have an event for a single person. Did he get in? So we'll go with Clark. Angus? Curling and bobsleigh? Yes. yes. Others would have been hockey. Bonus questions now for Clark only about the Winter Games. First, what's the only place in the United States to host the Winter Games more than once? Second, there are four figure skating events, men's singles, ladies' singles, and which two others? Paris ice dancing? Paris ice dancing, yeah. And team? Okay, for the first, what's first? Lake Placid. Lake Placid, I think. Host the Olympics. Yeah. Captain. For the first, Lake Placid. For the second, pairs and ice dancing. Both are correct. You got bonus points. Now this question for both teams. The historian Suetonius in the Twelve Caesars related that among the firsts, many accomplishments was an ability to read Latin without mouthing the text, then written without spacing between words. Who was this great Roman? Clark Blue. Augustus? No. Uh, we're looking for Julius Caesar. Next question for both teams. What industry created most of the fortune that established Stanford University? Liberty, Joe. Oil. No. Clark, blue. Railroads. Yes. Bonus question is now for Clark only. Answer the following about Stanford. First, the first student admitted to the school in 1891 became the nation's 31st president. Who was it? Second. The school's athletic teams are called the Cardinal, the color. What is the identifiable mascot seen at sporting events? You have the 10 tree. seconds. <laughs> the tree. No, it's a, it's a, it's, it's logo, isn't it? I don't know what. Please. 31st president. 31st. Captain. Uh, for the first, Warren G. Harding, and for the second, the tree. The tree is correct. <laughs> the future president was Herbert Hoover, oh. so some bonus points. Uh, quickly to this next question for both teams. What role did Desmond Llewellyn, John Cleese, and Ben Wishaw play in the 25 different James Bond movies? Clark Blue. Q. Yes. Bonus question is now for Clark only about James Bond. First, aside from Q and Bond, who's the only other character that appears in every single movie? Second, which movie was filmed and partially set? In Las Vegas. You have 10 Casino seconds. Royale. Casino Royale. No, no, no. No, Casino Royale set in uh, okay, but what somewhere is else. I don't know. I'm going to say Goldfinger. Skyfall? Skyfall? What? It's not Skyfall. Captain. For the first M, for the second Goldfinger. Both are incorrect. We're looking for Miss Moneypenny, and diamonds are forever. Okay. And we are out of time. Speed round next. The score as we go into round three, Liberty with 30 points to Clark's 90. We only say it because we mean it because really anything can happen in this speed round. Want to introduce a, a returning player for Liberty. Caleb is back. Hi, Caleb. Hello. Welcome back. Clark has two new players. There's Siddharth. Hi, Siddharth. Hello. And Alex. Welcome aboard. Hello. Okay, so in this speed round, we have 30 questions. Correct answers worth five points. This is also a timed round at six minutes. We get to as many as we can. If we obviously get to all 30 before the six minutes is up, obviously the match would be over. Let's go. What was the second state after Nevada to legalize casino gaming in the U.S.? That's Liberty, Joe. Louisiana. Incorrect. Clark Angus. New Jersey. Yes. Walton Enterprises is the parent company of which national retailer? 
Clark, blue. Walmart? Yes. Currently, who serves as Nevada's senior United States Senator? Clark, blue. Jackie Rosen? Incorrect. Liberty, Michaela? Catherine Cortez Masto? Yes. What kind of facility in ancient Rome might have included a caldarium, tepidarium, and frigidarium? Clark, blue. Baths? Yes. Based on a yellow crystalline compound, what's the three-letter abbreviation used in expressing the explosive yield of bombs? Clark, Alex? TNT? Yes. What kind of poem consists of three lines in each stanza, each which share the same end rhyme? Clark, blue. Sestina? Incorrect. We're looking for triplet. Next question. The Aryan people who arrived in India about 1500 BC spoke and wrote what language? Clark Angus. Sanskrit? Yes. What kind of lightning appears as luminous spherical objects varying from pea size to many meters in diameter? Clark Blue. Ball lightning? Yes. Next is a calculation question we don't repeat here in the third round. So Fred invested $10,000 in two accounts, one paying 5% annually, the other 9% annually. How much was invested at 9% if the annual incomes from both investments was $660? Time, we're looking for four. Next question. 1973, a military coup overthrew the democratically elected government of Chile. Who led the government and ruled that country until 1990? Liberty, Caleb? Pinochet? Yes. What did Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger use as an example to illustrate the inherent uncertainty? Liberty, Caleb? Cat. Uh, that is incorrect. I will finish reading the question. Illustrate the inherent uncertainty of quantum mechanics. Clark, Alex. A cat in a box. Incorrect. A cat that is dead and alive at the same time is what we were looking for. What term for a watertight chamber used for building underwater bridge foundations is also a term for a horse-drawn vehicle used to carry ammunition or coffins at military funerals? Liberty, Joe. Hearse? No. It is a caisson. Next question. Many metaphor metamorphic rocks have flat or wavy parallel bands. Name this characteristic. Uh, Clark, Alex? Cleavage. Incorrect. Liberty, Joe? Strata? No, we're looking for foliation. Next, 57 members of the Second Continental Congress signed the Declaration of Independence. Which delegate famously refused to sign the document because he hoped for a reconciliation with Great Britain? Uh, Clark, Alex? Thomas Jefferson? Incorrect. John Dickinson. Next question. The Big Island, Hawaii, the largest island in the Hawaiian Islands. What's the second largest island? Liberty, Joe? Oahu? Incorrect. Clark, blue? Kauai? No, it's Maui. Name the X-shaped structure formed at the point where the two optic nerves cross over each other. Oh, it's the old optic chiasma. Next question. On January 22nd of this year, Marvin Lee Adé died at the age of 74, considering himself an actor, but a very successful career as a singer with the album Bat Outta Hell, selling more than 44 million copies. By what name was Adé better known? Clark Blue. Sidney Poitier. Incorrect. Liberty, Michaela? Meatloaf? Yeah, it's Meatloaf. Uh, Bronsted and Lowry regarded acids as donors and bases as acceptors. So in this context, what are donated and accepted? Liberty, Joe? Hydrogen ions. Yes. Name the North American colony of New France that included parts of Maine, Eastern Quebec, and the Maritime Provinces. Uh, Clark Blue? Acadia? Yes. Which, and, uh, which team won the NFL Pro Bowl that was held in Las Vegas February 6th? Uh, Liberty, Michael? AFC? Yes. Name the unit of pressure that is 14.7 pounds per square inch. Liberty, Joe? Pascal? No. Clark, Alex? Tor? 
No, we're looking for atmosphere. Got a calculation question. Again, we don't repeat here. Maggie just sold the north half of the northwest quarter of her 840-acre farm. How much property does Maggie still own? Uh, 735 acres. Uh, next, five years after the gunfight at the OK Corral, Texas, John Slaughter was elected sheriff of what Arizona County? Uh, that's Liberty, Michaela. Phoenix. Incorrect. Named for a famous Chirahua Apache leader. Clark Angus. Geronimo. No, it's Cochise County. At his 1948 eulogy for Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru said, a madman has put an end to his life. He was referring to Nataram blank. Godsey, we're out of time. Let's find out who won. Final score, Liberty 55 to Clark's 125. That doesn't matter where you had it at home. We did have some more adjustments, talking with judges and coaches. But again, congratulations to both teams. An excellent match, and congratulations to Clark for the win. That sends them to the championship match against Coronado next week on Varsity Quiz, right here on Vegas PBS.